Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm attorney Ryan Seiss, the owner of the Seiss Law Firm right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And today I want to talk to you about you are not official executor until the court approves it. Now, how this came about is somebody, a potential client called up, and they're telling me that they started making all these moves. And, they're move, and they wanted to move money to a, a separate bank account. And so they had good intentions, but they're making moves before the court actually appointed them as the actual executor. So they're making moves when they're not allowed to technically because it has not got what I call the blessing of the court. All the court wants to do is make sure if you are named the executor in the will, that the will's valid. That there's no shadiness going on. That there's no forgeries. All these little uh, things that could be big things. Uh, the court wants to just make sure everything's valid. And then they're going to uh, sign off saying, yep, this guy is the executor. And from there, you can go on and carry on your duties as a personal representative of the state. But until you get approved by the court, you can't really do nothing. This is your reminder. Uh, the person I was on the phone with, great intentions. They want to do everything by the book. But one of the rules in the book says you got to be approved by the court. And they wanted to act before they were approved by the court. So this is just a friendly reminder, folks. And if you have any questions, please leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll reply to your comments. If you want to check out our website, SiceLaw.com, right up there is a little link. And if you want to talk probate, you can give us a call for free, and I'll happy to answer any questions you got. All right, take care, folks.